I were to work a marketing miracle in your agency, it would look something like this. I would help you identify the exact sub niche, the exact avatar that you can serve to make the kind of money that you want to make in your agency. Number two, I would give you a pitch deck that was easy to follow, easy to adapt, so you could figure out the exact pain points of your audience so you could solve their problems. If you can do those things, you can make a lot of money in this business. If you stay superficial, you will not. In this video, I walk you through that exact story arc on how to do it. I walk you through the exact steps point by point. And at the end, I will give you access to that Genie pitch deck. That's what I call it. It's an awesome deck and I want you to have it. So watch this video. At the end, follow the details in the description to get your free copy of the Genie pitch deck. Enjoy. Knowing how to do a webinar, a lot of the execution comes from doing demo calls. So never start with webinar, like do one-on-one -on -one demo calls. Now think of it like when you start doing demo calls, you have a hypothesis about what your business needs to do to create a real solution, a real outcome for your prospect. What if it doesn't? What if, or what if it doesn't, and that might be on the product side, but no, what, what if when you get on, you're actually not clear on what the solution is that they actually want? What then? Well, think of it like a bucket, like a five gallon bucket with a bunch of holes in it. Every time you start a new proposition, a new offering, you, you get a product, you're bringing it to the market. You have a bucket that guaranteed has holes in it. Now the bucket represents your prospect. The water that you put inside represents your hypothesis, the offering that you're making. The holes that the water is escaping are all of the areas that you don't recognize, that you don't see, where when they're hearing the water splash into your bucket, they're like, oh, but does it account for this? Does it account for that? Does it account for this? Okay. And I actually gave a, uh, I did a quick live in the Facebook group earlier today about this very thing. And the phrase is, is the most expensive tool is the one that doesn't work. All right. So just think about this process, this, this pattern, this, this uh, behavior. When anybody comes to, when your prospects come into your agency, chances are they've seen other agencies before. They've had experiences with them. So they came in on day one with an expectation. Oh, I have this problem. They sold me a solution and then I get in and what happens? What happens is the most expensive tool is the one that doesn't work. So they get in, it doesn't work. They wasted their time, they wasted their money and they wasted whatever percentage of, you know, like in a video game, you have like a battery of life, like oh, their life went down. They do that again. They do that again. And every time somebody, some beginning marketer, some beginning agency or people who don't understand the, the basic fundamentals of building a business, they sell them a bucket with leaky holes. By the time they get to you, they have all of the holes injected in their head. They have all the holes injected from all those other agencies, plus the ones that you don't mention in your demo call. That's why you're not closing, right? Mm -hmm. So the more you do the genie pitch deck and the more you ask that magical question, you know, the magical question in the genie pitch deck, which is, hey, if I could deliver a marketing miracle in your agency by rubbing my bald head, what would that look like? And then they're gonna tell you about their holes in their bucket. They're gonna tell you all about that. Until you can do that, and when you know what the bucket looks like, we're really relying heavily on this bucket analogy to deliver this idea. Until you know that your bucket retains the water, you can't do a webinar. Yes. Okay, because you'll waste your time, you'll waste your money, and you're better off just getting one-on-one -on -one with people. You can plug a hole on a demo call, right? If somebody says something like, our lead quality is bad, well, if you didn't talk about that in your webinar, you can't do anything about it. But in a demo, you can say, oh, I totally understand. So let me ask you. And then you solve, you resolve the concern. That's why when people talk, they, they want a black or white situation. And I'm telling you, you build your business from the foundation up. You know who your audience is. You create the offer so that that bucket retains all of the water. And then when it goes to making them take action on your bucket, then it's just persuasion tactics that they're gonna need. And the reason that they're gonna need it is because again, all of the bad experiences, previous baggage, and the ideas that they have in their head. So you have to reverse the risk and then apply a little bit of pressure. That's the, how the whole cycle works. I, maybe I gave you a little bit more than you asked for, but I wanted to provide you the landscape. A lot of people just isolate a response. Say, That's the response. It's like, uh, the response ain't that simple.